Let's get a pre-made code plug onto our H Alliance HD1. So let's go to Alliance. We have a section here called code plug. I'll put link in description. And I'm going to choose one that I spotted, which is my friend Lionel in Cheddar in the UK. So let's choose his one. Click. Get a zip file here. And we'll send it somewhere I can find it. Like so. Let's send it here. It's already one there. Right. Let's open up the software. So we go start and we go to HD1. Now if you haven't got this software, I'll put the link in the description. Just where you click firmware software, there's one here, HD1 software, and there's another one here, GPS version. And you've even got firmware and even on the on this site here if you click software you've got programming software along here so you can use either one I'll put the links in the description let's open the the program and when you open it it will be blank so let's blank it off and all you do is just go file open go to where you saved it and I saved it here double click and I'll put a link in for the uh, all the code plugs so now when you look in here let's go to basic settings and click down through so basic information if your radio is connected you will have the the details here but I haven't got the radio key settings you can program the buttons one key call that's like a shortcut for uh, functions using the key buttons ID setting you need to get your radio ID so your DMR number needs to go here so remember this ID setting DMR number here and put your call sign here M0 FXB is on mine and then all the channels are here and zones that have been created by Lionel so each zone has lots of channels so if we go to number one zone you've got all these channels here these are available channels that have been programmed in to the radio but the ones in that particular zone are here so we've done quite a lot of work here Scotland North I'm in the southwest so these will be all of my repeaters that I you know I would like to use so and as, as you go down you can see so every time you change zone on the radio you've got this group of different channels that have been added now the thing you probably will need to do is add your hotspot so I'll just quickly show you how to do that because I think that's quite an important thing close all this down so to add your hotspot uh, let's uh, click channel and let's go right to the bottom and let's so we're going to create a new a brand new channel okay so 595 so we'll double click that and we'll put in the frequency of my hotspot 431.550 of course yours may be different and it's simplex so we can leave that Our, the power really at home should be low uh, we don't need any of these codes scan well let's leave it yes bandwidth doesn't matter and channel alias we're gonna put in call it TG9 now it might already have this so we'll, we'll soon find out talk group 9 is a good way just to link to your hotspot let's go across like that and then we do need to choose talk group 9 here so you see it says priority here that's where that's basically if we click contacts on the left you'll see that's what's where our contacts are so we'll go like so and we'll choose talk group 9 uh, we've got the frequencies in low uh, timeout let's increase that to 180 seconds so let's just pause while the I just let the dog in okay so we've got the timeout talk group 9 we have called it talk group 9 so we know what it is now I could call it talk group 9 H for hotspot okay then we've got the priority in we don't need to change that my hotspot is color code 1 slot 2 so we'll do that and that's our channel created now we need to put it in a place where we can find it so remember it's channel 595 so we need to create really a zone for hotspot so I'll double click zone 
bit slow. Okay. And then we're going to add a hot add a zone and we're going to call it my hotspot. There you go, my hotspot. So now we can see this it says available channels. Scroll all the way to the bottom till we get to number 595. And we can select it, we can send it into that zone. So there's only one channel in that zone now. And it all saves automatically. So we've now got our hotspot in our zone. So when we turn our radio on, go to zone called my hotspot, we're gonna be able to use our hotspot at home. So we'll save that. So we'll go file, save as, and I think I'll put it in the same file, save. And replace, we'll click yes. So now, if you've got the, the cable, so I shall show you what the cable looks like on this radio, like this, and you've plugged it in and you've downloaded the driver, which is gonna be uh, for the cable, which is the USB driver here. You can now go back to the code plug, click right, which is a little TV here, and you can write data to your radio. And then if I had the radio, I would click yes. And so you've now got all these channels in your radio. I'll just point out that VFO A and VFO B, you can change the frequencies, but they're always there because that's basically when you're in VFO mode. So you, you can decide though what, the, what they're going to display. And then obviously you've got your, all your zones. You've even got radio here. You could even choose broadcast radio. Here, look, you can preset it as well when you go in and select it so just show you that contacts one again priority contacts these are all the contacts basically talk groups that have been pre put into this code plug so there's a lot of work been done here because look, there's a lot in there uh, obviously there are lots of other code plugs you can select from that alliance program uh, this is just one i chose at random and, and also lionel's a friend so we've got a receive group list let's see, see what, if we've got anything there now that's that's blank there yeah, i don't really use them myself to be honest so i hope this helps you uh, add a code plug to your hd1 and get your hotspot in there and then you should be able to find your local repeater but otherwise just you can add your lo local repeater in just like when i created that hotspot channel just the frequencies will be different so 73 hope this helps all the best please like and subscribe